Pleased to be joined today by Dakota Krebs, a new recruit for the Dinos men's hockey team, defenseman coming to us from the Calgary Hitman. Dakota, congratulations. Uh, welcome to the University of Calgary, and uh, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Your WHL career came to a pretty abrupt halt a couple of months ago here um, as the pandemic hit. What was that like, just kind of the, the vibe around the dressing room and stuff that, at that point, knowing that uh, your career had come to an end earlier than you had hoped? Yeah, it sucked for sure. I mean, nobody wants that um, in your last season, of course. But um, yeah, it was definitely an empty feeling. I think everybody kind of works, every team in the WHL, every guy, like kind of similar situation to me, 20 year olds, you're working towards that year end where you either win it, win out in playoffs or you lose out in playoffs and not to have either. I mean, obviously it sucks, but um, like everybody's been saying quite a bit, I mean, I got 20 other guys that are going through it and like a whole bunch of other teams and junior leagues that are going through the same thing. So it definitely makes it a little bit easier on that front. You kind of probably had to move some decisions up a little bit in terms of what was kind of next for you in your, in your hockey career. What was the recruiting process like and that led to your ultimate decision to join the Dinos? Yeah, there's a few teams talking to me, but I mean, um, you know, the team uh, Dinos and Mark really were talking to me probably the most. And um, yeah, I just got the best feeling around them and you know, I'm, I'm a Calgary boy. So um, or around Calgary, I guess you could say, but I've been, I've been able to play with the Hitmen and stuff for the past year and come home. And um, I just love Calgary a lot. And uh, it's definitely close to my heart. And I think just being able to, you know, stay here and go to school and really um, continue to work on, you know, just the people around me and really embrace my community. Um, it's definitely something I wanted to do. What kind of expectations do you have moving to the U sports level in hockey? What, what do you know about the level and what do you think you can bring when you put that jersey on and step on the ice? Yeah, I think I know. I, I think I know a little bit of what I'm getting into. I, from everything I've heard, I think um, a lot of guys are usually surprised. But you know, I watched the Crow, Crow Challenge Classics this year, and I was like, "Holy crap!" I mean, all the guys that are playing in this league just about are guys that graduated from the WHL or top end junior A players. So I know that the league isn't. Um, it's definitely a, quite a bit of a jump. Honestly, it's a good league and it's a strong league, and there's a lot of good players. You know, me, my, me personally. Um, I'm just a steady guy. I mean, I got a good size. I play a physical game. And, you know, I just like to make the right play and just make play a simple game and, you know, help out offensively once in a while. But for the most part, um, definitely a really thing I take a lot of pride in is um, helping out in my D zone for sure. You're heading into the Haskin School of Business at the University of Calgary. Um, congratulations on that, too. That's a tough one to get into. Um, what, what are your sort of educational goals uh, coming in um, to your, your first year at UFC? Yeah, I just want to, I mean, I'm, I think I'm trying to take four classes my first semester. So um, I just really want to, I mean, obviously playing the WHL, it's always hockey, 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 and then you're playing, you're going to high school and stuff. But for the past few years, it's just been uh, pretty much hockey. So um, I, I'm really excited just to kind of um, have that different aspect of my life and really just find that balance. And, you know, I'm just, I just really want to um, exceed, excel as much as I can. You know, I come from in high school. I mean, I really took a lot of pride in having good grades. So I'm trying to excel as much as I can. Anything I do, I really want to do it to the best of my ability. So no doubt, school, I want to, I want to excel in for sure. sure. You're, a, you're a five-year vet of the WHL and obviously get to, a chance to use the scholarship. How important is that program um, that the WHL provides in allowing you to kind of take this next step and keep playing hockey well, getting your education? No doubt. I mean, I think, honestly, I think it's the best deal in the world. I think you know, I get to play in the WHL against some of the best players in the world for that age group. And um, it's, it's just awesome that you get to do that. And then you do that guarantee that you're going to have all that money to go to school. So I, I love it. Um, I'm really excited about it. And I'm so fortunate that I get to utilize it now too. When you look back over your career in the Western Hockey League, what are some of the, the key sort of highlights or moments that stand out for you? Um, obviously not the way it ended, but before that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know. Um, I think we'll just, I think I, I started in Tri-City. So playing for an American division team was really cool. Um, getting, I mean, moving away at 16 to the United States, it was a really crazy kind of experience for me. And then getting traded back to my hometown and um, having some really awesome opportunities there and playing some, with some really awesome guys. You know, um, my last few years here, I got to play with some, actually, I started my career with a guy named Kyle Olson, finished my career with him too. He got mm -hmm. traded to us, which is really cool. And then just really got to meet some really awesome friends with Mark Haslick and guys like that. So um, really awesome in that. And then just some really awesome playoff series. I think everybody kind of comes down to that. It's um, regular season is one thing, but getting those memories in playoffs um, last year, I mean, we, we lost out in the second round, but it was really cool to go to a game seven 
um, in the first round and play out against uh, Edmonton Oil Kings in the second round too. So that was definitely some good memories there. And just uh, all the guys I get to play against that now I see playing, succeed in the NHL and stuff like that's really cool too. COVID-19 obviously has um, impacted everybody's lives right now. How are you staying busy and keeping active and passing the time these days? Um, yeah, just kind of hanging out, honestly. I'm, I've, I got an online job and been doing a little bit of that. And then, yeah, just working out with my brothers and um, hanging out with the family and trying to do some biking, stay a little bit outdoors and stuff like that. And, you know, just uh, trying to enjoy the time while I have and really make the most of it, right? Yeah open up any of those high school textbooks or anything or just gonna yeah I actually did I mean actually I forgot to mention yeah I'm actually taking a uh, chemistry 30 course right now just because I didn't have it mm. so I was like oh, I might as well get it and um, yeah I mean my brother's taking it too so it makes it a little bit easier for that for a reason too there you go well thanks for taking some time with us today best of luck the rest of the summer we look forward to seeing you on campus as soon as we can all get back there for sure for sure thank you